November the 12th. He was told not to expect to play any more football, but he rehabbed fiercely to get back just for this one game. And down the field goes George Wynn. Wynn down in the clear to the 30 25 win. Gets a block downfield and he'll go. Or they could just hand it to George Wynn and let him go to the house. 69 yards. See when just take this hand off. It's a zone uh, stretch play, and they get the edge. You see him do a nice job of staying in bounds, even though the defender was coming down low at him. Yeah, that was Ladler. He wasn't able to make the play, and it was Win off to the house. George Win came into this game with 100. And we'll see because he should have had a touchdown pass by all rights on this drive. As Chisholm just dropped that one. Only eight touchdowns in the last 19 red zone trips for Cincinnati. What you get is a double move by Anthony McClung, and there's no reason. Here he is right here. He's going to watch, tap his feet, and then go beyond. There's no reason to bite on a double move. Uh, you know, the end zone is behind you. Let him catch it in front of you. Don't bite on that double move there, and they got him to in a nice throw. Good patience by Kalaris and an excellent route by McClung. So the fourth down failure by Vanderbilt leads to Cincinnati's only drive of the game so far. Started at the own 44-yard line. Nine plays, 56 yards in two minutes and 19 seconds. And they still have their timeouts. They never ended up using any of them. Pretty good drive. Yeah, it really was. The best thought down to. Yeah, he said they're asking him different kind of questions than they asked everyone else. He said, wait a minute, what's going on here? What's going on here is Abernathy with a nice-looking return. Nice and cut back by Abernathy, and he has a chance to go all the way. And Ralph David Abernathy, the fourth, is in the end zone. And no flags on that play. Abernathy answers. 90 yards. Well, special teams always make a difference in a ball game, and when you can spring one like they did there, that's just huge for Butch Jones and his Cincinnati Bearcats. He's like, let him down. I want some of them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you saw the gap open up. The question was, could he break a tackle or two? And right around the 40-yard line in Cincinnati territory, he broke a tackle and made the move he needed. And obviously, the great speed. That's his first touchdown return this season. And it's Vanderbilt ball again. Now, the interesting thing here is Cincinnati's defense has to figure out a way to deal with the resurgent Vanderbilt offense. But let's take a look, Ray, at our H&R block never settle play. Well, Abernathy certainly wasn't going to settle for uh, being behind. He takes this kick and watch him just explode right up this gap. There's the arm tackles that he breaks. And then it's just a foot race. And ain't nobody going to catch him. Great execution by the Bearcats return team. A lot of good blocks, a nice cut, and then Abernathy uh, breaking the arm tackles, takes it into the house. And what impressive closing speed, last 20, 25 yards. He hit folks on his tail, and he left them in the dust. Now, I told you, we were kind of mired in a 7-7 ball game early on, and neither team looked like they were very sharp, and here we are in the second half, and it looks like... There, there you see his numbers. does Vanderbilt start to use those two timeouts? It's Pete again. They may not have to. He'll stroll in. Isaiah Pete may have wrapped up the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Uh, great blocking again. A little bit of over-pursuit by the second level of the Vanderbilt defense. You can't do that to a guy with the vision that Isaiah Pete has because he will sting you with it every time. And that vision led it once, I'm sure, out of that left side there. He saw how open it was once he got away from the traffic, and it was a stroll. You saw Pete do the Superman that Cam Newton made famous. 
And he has been today. Yeah, he started out a little slow, but I tell you what, Isaiah P. And he really came to play here this afternoon. The cutbacks that he's been able to do, and then the, the quick feet, and he just won't go down. One man very seldom will be able to get him down. And then when he does put the foot in the ground and turns it up north and south, oh, he's extremely explosive. I mean, this guy is a next level type of runner, and you will be hearing his name quite a bit on Sunday afternoons, I have to imagine. And here it is, his other touchdown that he had. Actually, uh, yeah. wasn't quite a touchdown on that one. No, but it was still a pretty, pretty, pretty good run. You know what I mean? And, and he is, David, in my opinion, and in fact, the opinion of everybody here. The cap, the uh, Capital One player of the game. That was uh, unanimous I was vote say, in the Capital booth. One. It's actually the AutoZone Liberty Bowl player of the game. And we got ahead of ourselves. We're going to do that one in a... Oh, they're going to name it Capital One uh, well, the, just for the whole bowl week? Just for the player of the game. Okay. God. We are at the AutoZone I, Liberty Bowl. I started Bowl. to say Capital One. I, no, this no, we'll that. Uh, we'll be there on, on uh, Monday. Didn't Marv Levy ever teach you to take it one?